tell me you love me The Weeknd has been one of my favorite artists now for well over a decade. I've been listening to him ever since his original three mixtapes. And to be honest, I've loved pretty much everything that I've heard since then, and I've been a steady fan. But one of the songs that's always stood out as one of my favorites is Wicked Games. It was on his House of Balloon mixtape over 10 years ago. And then when he released Trilogy, it was kind of touted as the main single. And something about it really stuck with me. I literally have a tattoo inspired by it. But I've always had the thought in the back of my mind, what would Wicked Games sound like if it was made in his current production style rather than his more alternative ambient production style. So that's exactly what we're going to do in this video today. I'm basically going to reimagine Wicked Games as a song from Don FM or from After Hours. We're going to build the production from the ground up. I'm going to go ahead and retrack all of the vocals myself, and we're going to see how his original writing style of over a decade ago still blends with his current production style that he's involved in right now. But before we hop in and I reimagine that song, my name's Austin. You're watching Make Pop Music. We have weekly tutorials on music and music production. If you like this video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this in a series where I reimagine artists from, you know, over a decade ago and kind of re-update their songs, let me know. This is the first video like this we're doing, and then let us know in the comments what you want to see in the near future. Other than that, after the video, if you want to support us, you can head over to makepopmusic.com. We have sample packs, preset packs. We just launched a brand new course, and most of the stuff on our website right now is 50% off for Black Friday, so definitely go take advantage of that. We will be using some freebies in this production that you can get on our website, and then other than that, shop the Black Friday sale, save yourself some money, and support us on the channel. But let's hop into Cubase so I can break down this production. Let's start reimagining Wicked Games. The first thing that I think I want to start with is some kind of base Baseline, and instead of having that kind of guitar that he has in Wicked Games, I'm thinking we should do some kind of 80s inspired arpeggiated synth. And to me, that's going to already get us right into the vibe of Don FM and After Hours. So I'm going to go ahead and add a bass and an arp synth, and that's going to kind of be our basis that we work off of. Here's the bass patch we're going to be using. It is from our pack, The Wave. Again, if you want to shop our sale, everything in our store right now is 50% off. Uh, this is included in that. It's basically just your good old classic kind of resonated filter bass. And we're going to do something like this. And this song has such a dark vibe because we are basically in like B minor. However, you have this dissonant note right here that feels really kind of creepy and carnival-like. And that really is one of the main things that I think has always stuck out in Wicked Games to me is it's not just like your stereotypical minor key. So let's lay that down and I'm gonna lay down an arp that's using those same kind of chords extended and then we'll see what we have. So over that bass that I just showed you, I'm gonna have this arp. It's basically just playing some chords over and over again. It basically pedals on that, and then we're just gonna go down. Go down. And once that sits over that bass line that's got that kind of dissonant note in it, it sounds really, really cool. I'll show you once it's all together. Uh, for the actual patch in this, we're using a preset called Married. I believe this is from uh, The Dawn. It's just a free pack that you can go download on our website. So this is in there, and then I'm sure the drum samples that we will use are in there. So go to our freebies tab on our website because you can grab these. And then I'm layering that with this kind of filtered arp that's doing something a little bit more uh, impressive. So this is also from Serum. This is just a patch called Out of My Head, uh, also from the Dawn. So again, a free sample. Um, but what we're doing on this one is we're adding some modulation. So we've got Effects Modulator, which is just a stock plugin in Cubase. It's basically just doing some filtering and some flanging and some panning. And then we've got Valhalla Vintage Verb just giving us some room. So now with all of these in that bass, we've got a pretty good basis now. Thank you. 
I want to build this up with some atmosphere stuff and then we're going to see what we want to do in terms of like adding drums. I'm thinking that I want to have a really ambient intro and then we'll go into some more kind of upbeat drums similar to like How Do I Make You Love Me or Gasoline or any of those kind of tracks off Don FM. One thing that I hear in a lot of weekend tracks and this is actually something that he was doing even back in his trilogy or mixtape days is adding weird ambient noises in there as kind of pads. So I took this atmospheric sound from Poptopia called Terror Flute and I'm just filtering it out and I'm just kind of using those same notes as the bass line. And it gives us that kind of quintessential eerie weekend texture that you're probably used to. And then other than that, we're gonna use some kind of vintage inspired keys. So something like a uh, brass that you'd hear on like a Juno or a Prophet or something like that. Even this one is in our free uh, pack on our website, The Dawn. So definitely go download that because most of the time we use stuff from our, our paid packs. But this one, since we've already done some weekend content, I figured why not just use the freebie so you guys could have that once again. And now with all of these put together, we have a really good basis. I think we'll probably filter this out and add some atmosphere. But other than that, I think this is gonna work for now. So I feel pretty good about that kind of being the musical bed. Let's go ahead and let's start laying down some drums for the verse. I went ahead and dragged in some drum samples. So I've just got this one called Dawn Six Kick from that free pack on our site. And then same with the snare, uh, Dawn Snare Six. So kick six, snare six. Very 80 samples that I kind of mixed to sound super modern and super punchy. So I'm gonna lay down a little progression with those, maybe add in some hi-hats, and then we're gonna see what we wanna do in terms of like synth and bass. Here's what I'm doing for the drums. It's a similar pattern that you'll hear throughout Dawn FM. We have a, a crash in there too. And then one thing that I do wanna show is I have these hi-hats on a sampler. And one thing that I heard him do throughout his new albums is he'll have kind of a steady like eighth note. And then he'll have these extra either hi-hats or shakers that kind of have a, a little rhythm that only happens once. So you'll hear that right here. Let's let's show this. You can hear that. T -t 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 -t. And then that's it. Other than that, it's just steady eighth notes. It just adds this cool little bit of like urgency and movement. Super simple drum pattern. Other than that, that's basically all we're doing. For the synths, I ended up just dragging over the ARP and the keys. The only thing that I really wanted to change in a verse for this, since we have those more upbeat drums, I wanted a more upbeat bass line. So what I'm doing is I'm just using kind of an 80s inspired bass preset from Serum called Burr. Um, this one is in Poptopia, and I've just kind of modulated the envelope so it's a little bit shorter. Nothing crazy, kind of like your quintessential 80s plucky bass. Um, and then we're using that same brassy bass that we had in the intro, but what I'm doing is I'm just filtering that out because I don't need all the top end or all the low end. And so now with the bass pattern that we have, let me pull up the MIDI so you can follow. This is what we have. You can hear we're already right in the after hours and Don FM kind of vibe. The key to those is just having 80 sounds that you really incorporate in a modern way. And to be honest, it's a pretty easy style to emulate. It's just really hard to sound perfect like The Weeknd has done on his albums. One thing that I want to add to these verses before we start building up a pre-chorus is just extra little percussion noises. Uh, these are things that I feel like really kind of dive into that 80 sound, but they also make something feel a little bit more fun. So we have this percussion noise right here. We also have this clap that we're kind of layering over some of these snares. And then we have this second percussion uh, that we're doing right here. Things like that add a little bit of excitement for the listener. It's something that is not like super necessary to structure. Uh, it just makes everybody a little bit more excited. Other than that, we are layering the keys for the second half of this verse. We've just got some of those like quintessential bell 80s keys. Uh, this is just using a patch called Real 80s Vibes from Poptopia. It's basically just got an e-piano sample that I've taken from an e-piano and then just kind of modulated with a bunch of extra stuff going on. There's a lot of effects on this to really give it that chorusy sound, but other than that, there's really not any kind of like mixing on this other than just some EQ. We're just gonna use EQ throughout it to kind of automate things.
One thing that I did want to do is he has, uh, I think it's at the very end of either, it's How Do I Make You Love Me or one of the other songs. But at the very end, he's got this gated arp that only happens for like half a measure and I love it. And so what I did is I basically just found like a gated sound outside of Anna 2. And it's just that like stereotypical trance gate. But it sounds very like Timbaland-esque and it sounds very early 2000s. And so what I wanted to do was I wanted to make it a little bit gnarly. So I'm actually adding guitar rig on this because I want to add quite a bit of crunch and saturation. So I'm literally using a preset called Beautiful Dirt and it's processing this and it sounds really gnarly, but with some EQ and some auto panning, it's a lot more exciting than just that kind of stereotypical trance gate. And what we're going to do is I will automate things to pull them out. And once I go in and automate some filters, I'll do some volume cuts as well. But we'll hear all that a little bit later. Let's start working on a pre-chorus. I think for the pre-chorus, I'm going to bring the vibe down a little bit. This is a really long song with kind of a weird structure. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring the pre-chorus down, but that's really going to be a chorus. And then we're going to have like a post-chorus where it drops in. Um, so I'm thinking that we're going to go a little bit more ambient with like longer synths, maybe a pulsing bass, and then we'll build it from there. All right, here's what I want to do for the pre-chorus. I want to put a four on the floor kick. One of the things I heard a lot in After Hours and on FM. And we're just going to filter that. So we're going to have a filter that opens as that progresses. And then what we're doing for the synths is we're just bringing the atmosphere sound back from the intro. We've got those arps. And then I put this nice little sparkly lead over top of everything because I wanted to have a little bit of lead. This is again gonna filter out anyway, so you might not even hear it much once we add vocals and filters, but here's what this sounds like. It's really pretty. Other than that, we've got a pre-chorus bass, which I think is doing a lot of the heavy lifting. This is just a bass that is in Serum, and I've got Kickstart on it to kind of sidechain it as an eighth note, but it's a bass called Moog Out The Way. Um, and then other than that, we're just like playing a bunch of notes in repetition. So this is not an arpeggiated bass sound. It really is just being played over and over. But what we're doing is we are driving up this cutoff filter as we go. So by the time we get to the end, it's going to be open. And using filter automation like that is something that The Weeknd does really, really well. It's something that I wish more artists would use because you can keep the arrangement a little bit more simple, but just by closing out certain elements or just by kind of boxing off frequency areas, number one, you create a bigger space for your vocal to sit, you create a bigger space for your drums to sit, but number two, it builds a lot of tension and it adds a lot of dynamic to the song. So I'm gonna be doing all of that. I'm gonna go in and finesse everything, but let's get the chorus working and then we'll go in and we'll finesse filters. For the chorus drums, I'm not necessarily adding a lot of elements. I just add one clap that's gonna be over the snare. It's just this little clap called Starloid, I think from uh, Dark Pop. It's a really aggressive clap. It's got a lot of room baked in, but honestly, I find it to be one of my favorites to just kind of layer up a snare. And then other than that, the thing that's really gonna drive this chorus is instead of that uh, kick being kind of syncopated, we're going four on the floor. So you mix that with those perks and that new clap. And then what I'm doing is I want the hi-hats to be a little bit more uh, spicy. So kind of what we did earlier where we have those three notes, the t -t 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 -t, we're actually going to repeat. And it's basically going to mimic what we did with that pre-chorus bass because that's going to be the chorus bass now. So... And you can see right here that these actually automate up in volume and the sampler in Cubase allows you to do uh, velocity automation. And then they're also pitch response. So we have a higher hi-hat that kind of keeps a steady eighth note. And then we've got these down here that are doing that rising 16th. And you can feel how much more energy those drums have now. What we're gonna do is we are going to also layer that over with that kind of top brass bass that we had earlier. And then this chorus bass is the same as the pre-chorus, we're just using it more open. Now we're kind of leaning into more of like take my breath from the new album, but I'm rocking with it, I love this. Let's go ahead and let's see what keys we add. We're mainly just adding this like high pad right here to give us some texture. It's a pad called Floating from Poptopia. It's kind of this like swelling moving pad that's got some kind of characteristics of like a Juno.
And then in any kind of 80s inspired song, you have to have a big brass. So we're using one from Analog Lab called Beefy Brass. And one thing that you can do to your brass sounds to really make them a little bit more uh, interesting is use something like the Juno 6 chorus. I'm using one from Arturia. You can also use Super VHS by Baby Audio. And then other than that, you have to have a really, really bright kind of saw lead. And then when you pop that bass over, I mean, to be honest, this goes off. Other than that, we just basically added a bunch of little risers and hits, basically a riser going into any new section. We added little down hits. The really cool one that we found was like this cashmere drop. Using big like exhaust hits or some kind of like symbol that you end up side chaining is a really cool thing that you can do to add that initial impact and that top end buzz, but just have it feel a little bit more lifelike. And then we're using some chimes and then just a bunch of extra hits. There's nothing to really point out there. I'm gonna go ahead and drag in vocals and then I'm gonna do all of the automation and stuff like that so we can go ahead and show you what this actually sounds like. Let's look at vocals and vocal production on this because I wanted to basically keep the same general vocal arrangement that he had, but just kind of update it. So for the lead vocal, we're doing one lead vocal throughout the entire verse. One thing that I really enjoyed using on this was the spirit. This is a new addition to my vocal chain, but I'm basically doing all of my compression and my doubler in here. And then other than that, it's just some very basic light EQ and DSing. But one thing that The Weeknd does on a lot of his vocals, especially now, is he will use something like a doubler or a harmonizer and kind of spread them out. And it's something that I normally do on a send, but for some reason this plugin just worked out really well. So we have that, and then we just have a couple little like delay and reverb sends, and it sounds a little bit something like this. I left my girl back home. I don't love her no more. And then I have this little layer coming in right here that's basically just using the harmonizer by Eventide to spread it out. And then it's using throat. Uh, we did this a couple weeks ago in a tutorial, but throat is basically adding some like formant control and then we're just spreading that out. And it sounds like this. And layered over, it's this really cool effect. And she'll never fucking know that. Other than that, that is literally the only processing for the vocals in the verse whatsoever. And then once we get to the pre-chorus, this is where things change. We ended up going for more of like a crushed vocal. Listen, Ma, I'll give you all I got. Give me and then we're using a vocoder very heavily on the side. That with that wide format vocal and everything else sounds really cool in the mix. Then we've got some kind of stereotypical weekend ad libs. I think I literally just copied the ad libs in Wicked Games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It's literally just a normal vocal chain with a 910 harmonizer on it to spread it out like I just showed you. Just this setting vocal thickener. And then I'm just using some RC20 to do some filtering and some extra reverb, but nothing that noteworthy on that. And then for the hook vocals, um, once again, we are using the exact same vocal chain as the main verse. I've just made them a little bit louder. So uh, we're still using the spirit for most of our compression and most of our sauce. I am using the doubler a little bit heavier in the chorus because I don't mind a wider vocal in the chorus. One element that I do have to cover before we go over and we listen to this final version with everything is using things like vocal stacks. And it's something that he does a lot in his songs. And what I wanted to do is I basically just track these all and sent them to a bus. It sounds like this without any plugins. Only for tonight. Only for and then I'm just using Arvox to do some compression, that 910 harmonizer again to add a little bit of chorus, and then just some reverb and some uh, delay. Only for tonight. Only for tonight. And then that in context of the whole mix really goes off. Like it's, it sounds really good, honestly. So tell me you love me.
And that is pretty much all of the individual elements. Let me go ahead and let me give you an actual rundown of this whole thing so you can see. But basically, it comes down to using 80s inspired sounds in a very modern way, still making sure you have enough atmosphere and ambience so it kind of has that creepy weekend vibe. And then other than that, it's just really nailing vocal production and kind of putting two and two together. But I'm excited to show you. Let's check it out. Here is the final of what it would sound like if The weekend made Wicked Games for Don FM and After Hours. Let's hear it. I left my girl back home I don't love her no more And she'll never fucking know that These fucking eyes that I'm staring at Let me see that ass Look at all this cash And I emptied out my cars too now I'm fucking leaning on that Bring your love, baby, I could bring my shame Bring the drugs, baby, I could bring my pain I got my heart right here Oh, I got my scars right here Bring the cars, baby, I could bring the drain And there you have it. That is what Wicked Games would sound like if it is on After Hours or Don FM. I honestly had such a good time making this, taking one of my favorite artists of all time and taking his classics that I know and love and reimagining them in a production style that I currently make almost every day was a blast. So hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more stuff like this in a series, please let us know because this was so much fun to do. Other than that, again, if you want to support the channel, you can head over to our website, Make Pop Music. We are running our Black Friday sale right now, so you can grab all of our samples, presets, MIDI packs, and the classic courses for 50% off. This sale only happens once a year, and Basically, every sound that you heard in this tutorial is either a freebie on our website or is half off right now. And then other than that, if you like this video and you're a producer that's really looking to level up your skills, go check out the brand new course we just launched, Producer Principles 101. We spent so much time on this course. It's 14 and a half hours. It's 76 lessons. We have an exclusive group. We have so many different resources and documents that you can also download with that course that will help you level up your business and your production skills. And that is also on sale right now for Black Friday. It's $150 off its original price. So go check that out because that is the only time we're going to run a sale on this new course. But I hope to see you in producer principles. I hope that you can head over to the website and grab a couple things. Treat yourself this week. I hope you enjoyed this video, but it's been fun. I'll be back soon with much more content. Much love. Peace.